welcome to Disco, Discernment Conversations, Dancing with the Questions of Life. Well, Lorraine, today our question is going to be, how do you find your ministry? Right. Um, because, you know, people think sometimes that we're just assigned. And it used to be that way. Mm -hmm. Our sisters, our older sisters, talk about getting the little white car that told them where they were going and they took their trunk and went the next day. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not like that anymore. <clears throat> now, we used to have single ministry staffing schools, and you were sent to a school, so it was it was clearer. Um, and sometimes we are asked to do a specific ministry, but really now we live it out in a much broader way and find our own ministries for the most part. Right, because today the emphasis in the church is on the charisms or the gifts of the Holy Spirit that we all have that kind of direct um, what ministry we're going to do. Like, you know, what do I really love doing? What, um, where's my passion in what I do? And so, um, cause if you love what you're doing, you're going to do it well. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. And people might wonder, well, how do you find them? And we mm -hmm. do it much the same as anyone else, mm -hmm. you know, just with mm -hmm. the online sites and the connections you have. And we do also have what we call sometimes the nun network. You know, we reach mm -hmm. out to sisters across the country, um, other religious we know who might have know of an opening and suggest, mm -hmm. oh, you might want to apply for that one. Mm -hmm. And and one thing to remember, too, is that Dominican charism is a charism of preaching the good news. So and we, we talk about preaching with our life. So there's all kinds of areas in our world that need the good news preached. And so we are in those areas all around doing different things, but always trying to proclaim God's love for all people. Mm -hmm. And it also, you you don't discern one ministry and stay in it. Of course, God mm -hmm. calls us to different things throughout these years of religious life. Mm -hmm. For example, um, after I joined the congregation, my first ministry was in campus ministry, and then I was in um, a pastoral associate at two parishes in two different locations, and then I moved into being formation director. Right, and I was an elementary school teacher in the inner city of Chicago. I was a campus minister. I've taught theology on the college and graduate uh, levels, done vocation work, and now I'm going off to teach preaching in St. Louis. So, mm -hmm. so we hope that you also find the ministry that gives you life and enables you to serve and live out how you're called to proclaim the reign of God. And we pray. May God, Creator, bless you. May God, Redeemer, heal you. And may God, the Holy Spirit, fill you with light.